Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mona here. If you are new here, please do subscribe to my channel. That means a lot to me and also like this video if you like the content. If you are coming back again, hi, welcome back. And um, if you are like me who likes fashion related content, you like you like dressing up, you like to have a you like a lookbook kind, like handbags, shoes and everything, please do check out my Instagram uh, feed. It's called uh, Mona Maggie Blog. I'll leave the name somewhere here on the screen and also down and link the um, and also give the actual link down below in the description box. Um, it would be very very nice if you could uh, follow me there so that I it would be it will encourage me to share my love for uh, fashion. So it would be like uh, I'll be happy. <laughs> so do check out my Instagram account too. So as the title says today's video is going to be about uh, my experience of buying designer handbags from uh, European based uh, websites rather than buying it from the American based websites. The reason being I find that um, uh, the, the price the price range of the handbags in the European based websites are sometimes less and in some sites it's like even more lesser and if they are if they go on sale for some reason in their websites it's a huge bargain rather than buying it from our uh, websites here i have not bought from many websites uh, so i cannot comment too much on the other websites but i have personally bought two handbags from a website called based in a website based in paris called the i'm not sure whether i'm pronouncing it correctly uh, i think it's called montaigne market so I will leave the exact link link below in the description so that you can have a look into it. It will not have like all the handbags which you are looking for, but if you keep an eye on the on their site, you can find some nice handbags uh, which is in your radar. Bags which I have purchased so far from their sites are uh, two. So one is my um, Givenchy Antigona in the sugar leather black but silver hardware. Um, I bought this sometime uh, last year, the beginning of last year in the January month and this was my first ever purchase from somewhere outside the country, from outside the uh, US. Um, I was very nervous at, at the beginning but then I thought okay let me, uh, because I have not heard of this site, site before, there are other websites like uh, uh, Harrods and Selfridges where it's very popular. But for me personally, I am not very familiar with uh, Montaigne Chain Market. So I was very uh, doubtful about making a purchase. But then I went, uh, I checked with some of my colleagues who are from France. And I checked with them and they said that, yeah, that I think this, that site seems legit. So I went ahead and made the purchase. So I got this bag last year. I have also made an unboxing video of this one. Uh, so I leave the link down below so that you will have an idea of how the packaging look like. Um, the bag did not come with its own uh, what is that? With its own box. It did come with um, the dust bag, the original dust bag, and whatever the other packaging it's supposed to come with. The care card. I think it. Can, I think I've kept it all inside. Let me really check. So it came with the price tag the care booklet everything uh, when I bought this uh, bag last year it was on sale so uh, I have even written a blog post about my experience of buying this handbag I will leave its link down below that blog will give a clear picture of how much was the cost of the bag um, in uh, US and how much I bought it for so let me give you a quick uh, rundown on the numbers I'm looking through my uh, laptop so at that point of time this bag costed around I'm not sure the current price so I'm just talking about the price a year back so the price at that point of for the bag was two thousand two hundred and eighty dollars and since I am from uh, Phoenix Arizona I had like a, I just myself calculated a rough percentage of eight percentage of tax so it'd be like one eighty two dollars and the total cost of the bag would have been two thousand four hundred and sixty two dollars but this bag on the Montaigne market website uh, was at that point of time it was on a sale so I was not sure what was the um, actual price so I, when I bought it it was if the price says here it was actually 1590 euros 
but it was reduced to some amount I, that as I said I was not not exactly how much was it in the euros but I, when I paid it in uh, USD it was 1401 $1,401 dollars and I had to pay $27 shipping for it and also Montaigne market does not take care of the customs and the import duties for you so when it comes to um, inside the country FedEx charges the custom charges uh, to you they will send you a separate uh, uh, a bill for you to pay the customs charges to them to FedEx so that came to uh, came around like uh, $135 so the total was $1,563 so the actual price of the bag you in the US including tax and everything was $2,462 and when I bought it from the Mountain Market website, it was just for $1,563. And I think that is a great bargain. Close to $1,000, but it was like $900 difference. I I was uh, looking for this bag and I, when I just, um, I did not know about this site. When I just browsed for this bag um, but to see where I can find this, uh, this site came up and I thought the price was amazing and I grabbed it. So the another bag which I brought, I bought from their website is um, this uh, Valentino bag. It just came with the dust bag and all the other, um, but all the other packaging were intact. So this is the another bag which I bought from their site. This is the Valentino Rockstead Spike bag in the medium size. This was not on sale. This was a brand new release of their of Valentino's Spring Summer 2018 collection. But when I saw, I was not intending to buy this bag anyway. But but I on and off I look through their site because I I like how much nice their pricing is when compared to the pricing of the bag in the states. So I was just looking through their site like on and off. I just go through their site like every week or so to see if there is any nice bag on sale which I can grab for a good deal. But um, I came across this one. This one is still available on their website. And uh, but I loved this bag. I love the color, the uh, the the metal on the everything. I'll just give a closer look of this one. So this comes with a top handle and also with a chain um, strap. So I love this bag. And to just give you a quick number. This exact bag, the same color, the same uh, metal and everything, same sizing, retails for about, not about, retails for $2,795 without tax. So including tax, like, just add a rough of 10%, uh, uh, so that would be like an additional of 250 or 270 or even lesser maybe but still even without tax it is like $2,795 but I bought this bag for I think a less than I don't exactly remember it a less than $2,100 and I had to pay customs charge of so FedEx sent me a charge of $138 $138 was the customs and tax the, the entire thing from FedEx so so if I add like 2100 to the bag I paid and then on top of that 2000 sorry 135 for the customs it comes to 2238 which is still far 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 less than 2795 without tax. I think it's still a great great deal. So based on that what I would suggest everyone if you're looking to buy some um, European based designer handbags look through the European based websites prices in their European based websites are really really good really really less compared to that of the US based websites for the Antigona bag I saved like uh, $900 and for this bag I would say I roughly I would say I saved like about at least about $500 that I'm even saying that without including the tax so without a tax at least I, I I saved like $500 so check out these sites I'm I have not per personally purchased bags from Selfridges or Harrods but when I was looking for the uh, the other bags when I looked through the browse through their websites I noticed that uh, even their sites uh, the price of the bags are a little less compared to the price of the bags in the US at least the difference I'm seeing is like at least 
$200, at least $200 or it depends on the bag also. I thought I should do this video because if anyone is looking out to buy some nice designer handbags, you should check out those sites. They are good. I just want to share my experience. Uh, even going forward, if I have to buy something brand new, I would still go to, um, I think Mountain Market would be my first option because their prices are unbeatable. I don't know why. It's great. Their prices are really, really great. There are a couple of other points I would like to cover. The return options. So uh, I'm not, as I said, I'm not sure about the other websites. You can do your own research from uh, for the other websites. But for Mountain Market, you have to pay your return uh, everything, whatever the return cost is on everything. So before you buy the handbag, please do your research to make sure that you really will have the bag or you have to definitely bear the cost of the return shipping. Because even for the for the actual shipping of the bag, you have to pay the expense. It comes to like around, for, the, for, the, for both the bags I paid roughly around $30. So you have to pay the shipping. So for return, you definitely have to pay, pay the shipping. And the, uh, the, when it comes to the packaging, their packaging is really good, very nice, compact. But as I said, it will it, it was not having the actual ba box of the uh, bag, but uh, it, it, is, it was nicely uh, wrapped in a bubble wrap, put in its own dust bag and everything. Otherwise, the packaging is really good. As I said, please do check out my Jivanje uh, Antigono uh, unboxing uh, video, which will give you a good idea of how the packaging looked like. I really liked it. It was not too fancy, but it was very decent and very, very good enough. And the when it comes to their shipping, their shipping they ship it the, almost the next day. And uh, though it comes from a different country, I received both my band bags in less than like a week. Not even a week. I think it was like five days. So maybe I ordered it on Thursday, I would receive it on Wednesday. It was like that quick. And this particular bag, I just received it in... I think it's in two to three days. It was like super quick. I don't know how, but I just received it in two to three days. It was very, very nice. So they, I, they select a very good shipping process. You have to sign it. So you don't have to worry too much about losing your package. You have to sign for your uh, package. I think that's all the points I really wanted to cover and I've covered them. If you have any other questions, please do leave your questions down below and I'll be very, very happy to answer. I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye-bye.